Dear Hollywood, you know it's a little hard to buy all of your sympathy for kids who get shot and all of your outrage against the NRA when you're so busy giving standing ovations to movies about kids getting shot to death and their corpses mutilated. And your hypocrisy? Yeah, it's officially not funny. Hey guys, welcome back to Reality Check on MRC TV. I'm Brittany Hughes. The House That Jack Built premiered Sunday night at the Cannes Film Festival. Haven't heard of Jack's house? Yeah, that's probably a good thing. So sorry to ruin your Tuesday. The House That Jack Built stars Matt Dillon and features a cameo by Uma Thurman. Well, for about four seconds before she gets her head caved in by a car jack. And that's pretty much the entire movie, by the way. It's about a serial killer reliving his top five murders, starting with Uma. And they only get worse from there. According to film critics, in one scene, Jack murders a child and then violently and graphically desecrates his corpse. Another shows Jack torturing and mutilating a young woman. Then there's another young woman. And the whole thing is interspersed with documentary footage of actual murder, including bodies being bulldozed into mass graves after the Holocaust. The film was so graphic that more than 100 people reportedly walked out of the theater because they just couldn't take it anymore. One critic described the movie as pretentious, torturous, and pathetic. Another called it a vile film that should never have been made in the first place and blamed the actors who starred in it. So a fun tidbit about this film, it was written and directed by Lars von Trier, and this was his first trip back to the Cannes Film Festival after getting kicked out back in 2011 for saying that he sympathizes with Hitler and joking about being a Nazi. But hey, I guess that's water over the Berlin Wall at this point because he's back, and with a movie that he says celebrates the idea that life is evil and soulless. It wasn't a true story being told for historical purposes. It's not trying to teach us anything. Nope, just torture porn for art. And here's what's really funny not funny about the whole thing. All of those film critics and actors and producers and directors, all the ones who didn't walk out of this nearly three hour train wreck, they gave the whole mess a standing ovation. Hollywood, this supposed beacon of love and support for women praised a movie all about brutalizing, torturing, and murdering women. For art. Hollywood, where glittering celebrities surrounded by dozens of armed guards point fingers at law-abiding NRA members and accuse them of killing children, stood and applauded a movie that graphically depicts a grown man mutilating the corpses of children that he has shot to death. For art. Interestingly, at that same exact film festival, director Spike Lee slammed Donald Trump as a mother effer who sympathizes with Nazis and stirs up violence. At the same film festival where people had just stood and applauded a movie made by a guy who literally said that he sympathizes with Nazis and then made a movie about nothing but violence. Do you think they even hear it at this point? their own hypocrisy? Do you think it ever dawns on Hollywood that all of their money and all of their fame and all of their art is literally grounded in the same stuff that they claim to be against? Guns, violence, the total objectification of women. They're against violence against women, but they praise torture porn. They're against killing kids, but they'll watch it laid out on the big screen for sport and give it a standing ovation. They will accuse a Republican president of loving Nazis and hating women while applauding movies made by men who say they love Nazis and men who assault women. No, they probably don't hear it, after all. Because they're too busy grandstanding in an echo chamber made of awards that they have given themselves. And you know what's really sad? That's all most of them will ever have. And that's your Reality Check America. Make sure you subscribe to us on YouTube, like us on Facebook and Twitter, and stay sane out there. <laughs>